It happens every minute. It can catch you wherever you are. And when it strikes, it hits you hard. What I'm talking about is the time display in Apple's iOS 13 lock screen. Every minute when the time is changing, the figures are jumping around, something's shifting and this just drives me crazy. Is there something we can typographically do about it? Why did Apple make this decision? And what can we learn from it to improve our own designs? Ready to find out? Then welcome to Pimp My Type. Hello typography enthusiasts, my name is Oliver Schöndorfer, user interface designer and typographer. With Pimp My Type my goal is to help you show the full potential of your website, app or digital product by leveraging the power of typography. In today's example I'll cover the iOS 13 lock screen. Once the minute is changing, everything's shifting a bit around. Everything's bouncing on and off. This just annoys me. It's, it's, it's annoying. Why aren't they aligned? Why? Why? And the problem is that the one is narrower than the zero. And so we have this shift because the whole time display is aligned to the center. What can we do about it? To find out, let's see what different kinds of numbers there are first. In typography, there are two different kinds of numbers of figures. First one are old style figures and the second one are lining figures. Old style figures are designed with varying heights. For example, the ascending 6 or the descending 9 blends in better with running text because it resembles a line of running text with its ascenders and descenders. On the other hand, there are lining figures which are mostly designed the same height as uppercase letters. They work better when used alone in user interfaces or time displays. Now in addition to these two styles, there are two different spacing formats, proportional and tabular. Proportional figures have varying spacing. The one is narrower than the zero or the eight. This spacing contains an even balanced typographic color, as we say, allowing the figures to blend in nicely with horizontal text. Tabular figures are monospaced. This means all figures have the same width. The one has the same width like the A. This also makes them the preferred style for figures, like columns of numbers, price lists or everything where you have to align numbers vertically. Or in digital typography, where you often change the numbers, like for example in time displays. So let's take a look at the lock screen again. All the Apple products and different interfaces use one typeface that's called San Francisco. San Francisco also contains proportional and tabular lining figures. As you can see here, um, when I open up the type details panel, I can see that there are two different styles for numbers and you can now switch from this default, which are the proportionals, to the monospace. And I'm doing this here for 1210, changing it for 1211. Well, when I look at the result, I think it's quite okay for 1210, but for 1211, it doesn't work that well. It creates a lot of gaps in between the different figures. For 12, it works okay. For 10, it works well, but for 11, it kind of falls apart, so the time doesn't work anymore. So an alternative for that could be using an alternate one with a serif that compensates for the space that is created with this monospaced one. The bad news is that San Francisco doesn't have an alternate one. So I created one myself. And as you can see now, it works better. 
there aren't that gigantic spaces in between anymore, but the colon isn't nicely aligned to the one. I'm not sure if this version works better. Let's see how it compares. Number one, the original time display using the proportional lining figures with the jumping effect. My alternative, number two, with the tabular figures. And number three, with the tabular figures with an alternate one. I think the third one would be possible, but it loses its character. It's just not that simple, elegant, minimalistic anymore. So I think it works better with the proportional lining figures, the original state. Don't get me wrong, I still hate it. It still makes me go insane when I see it shifting around and jumping around. But considering the other options, Apple took the best choice. And they did not forget about tabular figures. For example, when you listen to music or use the stopwatch, they still have these tabular figures in use because it changes every second and otherwise everything would be bouncing around every second. What this also teaches us is how to use numbers and different spacings wisely in our designs. Here in the recent web design I made, I used tabular figures just to avoid the numbers from jumping around in this counter component I designed. And as you can see, the developer has not implemented it yet. So this just proves the point that tabular figures would work better. So that's it for the first episode of Pimp My Type. Hope you learned something today, or at least you're annoyed when checking the time on your phone. You can find the link to the Figma prototype in the description below and check it out yourself. I'm curious, what do you think? What option do you prefer? Always happy to hear your typographic thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the or that red button that says in terribly spaced all caps letters subscribe. See you next time. What, what do you prefer? The serif? Or the monospaced? Mm. Monospaced? Mm. Or maybe mm. the original? Mm. Is it the original? <laughs> no, you don't like the original. Okay.